Hey guys, this is Cody from ITVision.com. At this time of great uncertainty, we at IT believe that this is a great opportunity for us to re-examine how we do things in the vision field. Many of us have yet to utilize all of the great tools and features that are available to us online that can make our jobs easier and our service more effective. With that in mind, we're beginning a distance learning series where we focus on how to use technology, all of this technology available to us to make teaching at home specifically effective for our learners. And in this first video, we're gonna show you how to create a folder and a file system to transfer files back and forth between your students and their teachers to make sure that they have everything they need accessible at home. We're doing all of this with the power of Google Drive and it's gonna be really exciting, so stick with us. Holy moly, what a month, huh? So like so many TVIs, you may be asking yourself, how do I get these distance learning assignments from my students' classroom teachers? You may also be asking yourself, how do I convert and send documents to my students? And of course, what the heck do I do if my student doesn't have the computer skills to navigate one of these really complicated learning management systems like Schoology or Canvas? Now, we're going to answer these questions in two separate videos. In part one, we are going to show you how to set up a system for your learners to use. And in part two, I'm gonna link up with Katrina using Zoom video conferencing. She's gonna play the role of my learner. And then we are going to show you how step-by-step -step, to teach this to a student with a screen reader using remote learning. So we're gonna begin by showing you a completed Google Drive system, one that is already created. And if you don't know a lot about Google Drive, definitely stick with us because then we are going to show you step-by-step step how to make this system from the beginning to the end. Now let's begin by showing you what a completed system will look like. Here I am on Google Drive. And as you can see, this is a shared drive. So remember my learner is gonna be Katrina. Look it up here. It's not my drive, it's Katrina's drive. And actually this is shared by a couple of members. It's shared with everybody who needs access to it. So right underneath Katrina's drive, you see it says five, people if I click on that you can see everybody who is shared with so right here I have myself of course then I have my student Katrina and then I have a couple of teachers Miss S and Miss T and then Mr. P who's Katrina's para who uh, will be helping me convert some documents for her okay so these all of this that I'm about to show you is shared with all of these people they can see the exact same thing on their computer which is really really cool Let's take a look. We have all of Katrina's classes here, algebra, English, government, science, Spanish, all of them. And inside each one, there is a list of four folders, which are going to be very important. Now you can see these folders are called to be converted, assignments, submitted, and graded. And the way that this is going to work is that teachers are going to drop in assignments into the to be converted folder. And this, that assignment is going to move down the list as it goes through our learning system, right? So let's take a look. In our to be converted folder, you can see I already converted this document on dilations. You can tell because it says dilations and then it said last modified by, wow, it lo looks like it was last modified by me, okay? So I've already converted this. So I just kind of left it in here as an original, but it also looks like Miss S just put something up, right? We, she put up this project. Let's take a look. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be something that we're going to need to convert because it looks like it's a PDF and I'm betting you that these tables are not going to be uh, able to be converted very well. Um, so that's something that we're going to have to come back to. Okay. So that's our to be converted folder. Now let's say that we just converted dilations, right? What we're going to do is we're going to make that converted file probably in a Google doc or a, or a Microsoft word document, and we're going to move it then to our assignments folder. And this is where Katrina is going to be looking for her work. As you can see, I already put this dilations assignment in there, right? It says last modified by me at 6.37 PM, right? And I'm going to open this up just to show you kind of what I did here. We can open in Google Docs. And this is just a converted document that I made for Katrina. It has headers. It has a table of contents so she can move through it quickly. And it has just an annotated video with questions. Now, this was coming from questions that were coming from a video. Uh, so this is just kind of something that I needed to convert and I threw in that assignments folder. Okay. Now let's say that Katrina opens this assignment. She completes it and it's done. She is then going to move it to the next folder, which is of course 
submitted. Oh, it looks like Katrina hasn't submitted any work yet. And then of course the teacher would come back in, say, oh, I need to get Katrina's work. They'd go into submitted, they'd look at it, and then they'd move it to graded where Katrina can then go look for it and, and see if it has a grade and more importantly, what that grade is. All right, let's set this system up, shall we? First, we're going to create a shared drive within Google Drive. Second, we're going to make our folder structure for each class. Third, we're going to add our participants. And finally, we are going to train our teachers. Okay, so we are going to start by opening a Google Chrome browser. Now it has to be Google Chrome because again, we are using Google Drive. So I'm going to open up my Google Chrome browser and ensure that you're on the right account, right? I'm logged into my itvision.com account. For you, you're going to be logging into probably your employer's account or your district account. Now, if your district does not have Google accounts set up, definitely advocate for it. Um, you can do an adaptation of this system in Microsoft uh, OneDrive, but it is a little bit more clunky in OneDrive for our screen reader users. So definitely advocate for your school district to get a Google account, especially because it's free for all public schools and nonprofit schools. So definitely advocate for that. Okay. Now to get up to Google Drive, you can see I have it bookmarked in my uh, bookmark bar, but you can also come up here to the address bar and either type in Google Drive, right? You can do that. Or the easier way, the way that um, you might want to teach your students is to type the URL. So that's drive.google.com. Com, and you can see that it already remembers that I did that. Now, just as a note, all Google products use URLs uh, follow the same pattern. So docs is going to be docs.google.com. Meet is going to be meet.google.com, et cetera. Okay, just for you to know. Now, in the left sidebar here, right, we have priority, my drive, shared drives, shared with me, right? We are going to go to shared drives. Now, you can see right now I don't have any public shared drives, so we can either create a shared drive or we can come up here to new. Now, if you're a screen reader user yourself, um, the key command here is gonna be C for create, and I'll show you that now, C for create. All right, now it says new shared drive, and it says untitled shared drive. We are going to make this drive for our student, Katrina. So I'm gonna put Katrina, Katrina's drive, right? And on our next video, Katrina is actually gonna help us teach you guys how to access this with a screen reader. So that's really cool, right? All right, now that our Katrina's drive is created, I'm going to enter it. And as you can see, there are no folders here, but guess what? Our first step is completed. We have created our shared drive. Now we're gonna move on to step two to create the folder structure for each class, right? All right, so let's do it. So our folder structure, what we wanna do right now is we are not gonna add any files. We are just creating folders. We're just organizing this Google Drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the new button again. Again, for screen reader users, it's C for create. We're gonna click new. And then you're gonna scroll down to folder. For screen reader users, you're gonna use those down arrow keys to get to folder. So new folder, okay? In this folder, I'm gonna start by adding Katrina's first class, and that's gonna be algebra because she has algebra first thing in the morning, okay? I can just hit enter or click the create button. Perfect, our algebra folder is in there. Now, let's create a folder structure in algebra. Now, as I said at the beginning of the, of the video, and as you saw, each class is going to have four folders, right? It's gonna have a to be converted folder, it's gonna have an assignments folder, submitted and graded, right? Now, I myself as a practicing TVI, when I do this system, I, have the, I implement this system for my students, even if they're not distance learning, this is just our regular setup. And I know that in each case, in each student, in each teacher, we are going to set this up just a little bit differently, depending on the class, depending on the types of assignments they're doing, depending on the teacher's preference, right? Um, but today we're going, going to just set up this basic system and feel free to make adjustments for your student and your teachers and your system, okay? But today we're gonna create these four folders. So again, same as before, we're gonna go up to the new button, screen reader user C for create. We're gonna go to folder, all right? And we're gonna name this folder to be converted, right? And remember, that's where all of our teacher, oops, that's where all of our, made a little typo there. That's where all of our teachers are gonna put their um, inaccessible documents or just for us to check, hey, 
I, I'm submitting this assignment or I'm giving this assignment to my class. Can you make sure that this is accessible? And we're just going to look through that folder to get the assignments from the teachers, right? Now I'm going to create the rest of my folders here and I encourage you to pause the video and do the same for you. And we'll, we'll meet back here when all of our folders are created. Cool. So now we have our folder structure for the algebra class. Okay. Now, in regular Google Drive, in my drive, I would just be able to back out here and make a copy, all right? But in shared drives, because they don't want everybody going in and messing everything up, we do have to do this manually. So go ahead and make the rest of your students' classes folders, okay? And again, I'll meet you back here when that's all set, and I'm going to work on mine as well, okay? All right, so I've created the rest of my class folders. Each one of them has that folder structure in there. So that means that we have completed step two and we are ready to add our participants. Awesome. All right, so to add our members, all we are going to do is come up here below the drive title uh, is a button called add members. Now, screen reader users, that's right, it's a button. So that means you're gonna go into the buttons list and add members will be in there, will be in that buttons list, okay? So now we're brought into this dialog box. Uh, in the edit field, we can type in the email address of our members. So I'm gonna start with our student, Katrina. So I'm gonna type in Katrina, oh, and there she is, Katrina, as, uh, Katrina Best, we're gonna click on that. And now as I keep adding my members, feel free to pause the video and go ahead and add your members and I'll meet you back here. All right, so now I've added my student, um, her para and maybe a couple of teachers. Um, and now before I hit send to add my members, we wanna make sure that underneath that edit field, this combo box, is set to the correct role, okay? So we can set the, our members to either be managers, content managers, contributors, and all of these have different functionalities. So for example, if this is just a viewer, they might only be able to view files in there, but will not be able to move them around or change anything. We want all of our members, students and teachers, to be content managers. That will allow them to move files between folders, okay? Now you can write a little message here, but we're gonna do that in kind of the next step. So I'm just going to uh, skip sending our notification and I'm going to click add, okay? And now our members are all added. Now I may have lied to you a little bit. Instead of telling you how to train your teachers in Paris, how to use this system, we are gonna end off this video with a little surprise. We at IT always wanna make your lives just a little bit easier. So we have taken the liberty to craft an email for you. That's right. In the description of this video, go ahead and click on the link and you'll be transported to our website where you can download an email that explains how this system works to all of your participants. Now feel free to change this email around to fit your specific circumstances because again, we know everyone's situation just a little bit different. If any of this information helped you in any way, please like and subscribe to our channel below. It shows us that we are making content that you guys enjoy, and it gives us a lot of, lot of information about what we want to produce next. Also, if you want more resources like this video, consider joining our Facebook group, AT for VI Professionals, at facebook.com slash groups slash ATVI Professionals. In the next video, we're gonna show you how you can teach your learners how to use this system so that they can stay organized throughout this very new and experimental time. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.